Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In previous versions of Anime Studio, if you wanted to apply certain layer effects to multiple layers, you had to go through each layer individually and apply your effects. Now with version 10, that has been streamlined. You can now select multiple layers and apply effects to them so that you can apply effects to multiple layers with ease. So let's start with two vector layers to test this out. I just have a simple sample file open and what we can do here is double click on any of these vector layers. So I'll just double click on pillows. Now with that panel open, what I'll do then is hold and shift and then click on mattress. Now holding and shift and clicking will select all the items in between those two selections that you've clicked on. If you hold in command and click you'll be able to select individual items and if you're on Windows control click will do the same as if you're on a Mac with command click. So now that you have at least two layers selected you will make note on the bottom of the layer settings, it says multiple layers are selected, changes will be applied to all as applicable. So now that means that if your layers share properties, which in this case, since they're two vector layers, basically any changes you make here will be affected. So we could come in here and we could add 20 to the blur radius, change the opacity to 50, and then hit apply. Now, hitting OK. Let's just come back here, double click on pillows. You can see 20, 50. We can click on mattress and you can see 20 and 50 has also been applied. Now when you are working with these layers, let me just select multiple layers again. The last layer that you clicked on will be your primary layer. So let's say for instance you click on some different layer types. You're clicking on a vector and then you click on an image. You'll notice that pillows is currently a darker shade than mattress. That means you're working with the pillows layer. However, if you have additional things selected, they will be affected if they share properties. Meaning if, for instance, you have vector layers, basically everything can be shared because it's the same layer type. And I can go here to 3D options. I could even turn these into 3D objects, hit apply, and you can see now that they're both 3D objects. This is indicated by the layer type. Now, if you are, for instance, going to work with different layers altogether, let me just change these back really quick here to none and hit apply. Let's say, as I said before, a vector in an image. So I'll click on pillows, hold in command, and then click on this image layer. Oops, make sure that's selected like that. What you'll then have to remember is that images and vectors are different. So there are certain things such as the 3D options that will not affect the image. And the same goes for, let's say, the tune effect that you can apply to an image in your layer settings. Since that is something the vector shapes or layers cannot do, if you apply that to multiple objects and some of your layers are vectors, then it's not going to do anything. So just keep that in mind when you are working with these layers. I think you'll find that as you work with this, it'll become easier to recognize what can be shared and what can't, but also it will save you a lot of time when it comes to applying different layer settings in Anime Studio.